Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. The parable of the gifted in the vineyard. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Share, share our content, spread the word and donate. Your tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us passing on the faith to the next generation. And we need that gospel. We need this gospel in these dark times. The kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for a denarius a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And going out about the third hour, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, you go and work in my vineyard too. And whatever is right, I will do so give to you. And so they went out. Going out again about the sixth hour and the ninth hour. Sixth and the ninth hour. Something important happened then. He did the same. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing there. Why do you stand idle all day? And they said, because uh, no one is hiring us. He said to them, go and um, you go into my vineyard too. So when evening came, the, the owner of the, the vineyard said to his foreman, call the laborers and pay them their wages, beginning with the first up until the uh, beginning with the last. Let's get it right. Beginning with the last up to the first. And when those hired at the 11th hour came, he each he, each of them received a denarius. And those, when those hired first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received a denarius. So they, on re, upon receiving it, they grumbled against the master of the house. And the last hour, uh, the, the, these last worked one hour, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat but he replied, friend, I'm doing you no wrong. Did you not receive from me a denarius? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give, donai. This last worker, as I give to you, am I not allowed to do what I, what I choose with what belongs to me or do you begrudge my generosity? So the last will be first and the first will be last. There's a lot of gospel here. There's a lot of gospel here. First, the laborers. The Lord is planting himself a vineyard. That happens over and over again in the Old Testament. It's in Isaiah. I'm going to have a vineyard. His workers in his vineyard. He hired some. I'll give you a day's worth of work. That's a denarius. Give. 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 That's the reoccurring theme. Give. 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 Not earned. Not deserved, given. Third hour, same thing. Sixth and ninth hour, same thing. Eleventh hour, you got it. And then when they get paid, the, the, the people who are paid, who worked the least, get paid the same as those who work the most. Now, typically, sloppily, this is used to say, well, it doesn't matter when you believe. Whether you believe early in your life or late in your life, you still get heaven. That's okay, but that's not what this is go what's going on here. Okay, this is about a, a landowner who gives gives, and this is about those in the family and those out of the family. This is about those who worked all the while, the Jews and the Johnny come lately Gentiles who are all saved by the same thing. The one who worked on the cross from the sixth to the ninth hour. That's what this is really about. And this is not about earned. It's not about earned. It's not about deserved. It's about given. I choose to give to the last as I choose to give to you. And notice, this is all about the generosity of the God who saves in Jesus Christ. So what you want to learn from this parable is that God gives. He doesn't give. He doesn't. We don't earn. We don't deserve. God gives in Jesus Christ. That's what this parable is really about. 
I don't have a problem with you. Like, okay, everybody gets the same. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. But if you ever watch this taught to children, if you ever want to teach this to children, offer them a candy, have them do jumping jacks. And then give other kids, offer them a candy for doing jumping jacks too, and then get to the last one and have them do one jumping jack and then end. You'll see that this works out. That the that the first ones when they get the 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 candy are super happy, but the last ones, they're super crabby because they deserve more. Because they're running off of the religion that we all run off of, which is a religion of earned and worked and deserved. And that's not how God's playing. God's playing in the way of gift. Gift given generosity. That's the way heaven is given. In the suffering and death of Jesus. If you think I'm wrong, comment on it in the comments. If you think I'm right, comment on it in the comments. Let's have a discussion on it. Either way, this is not the parable of the workers in the field. It's the parable of the gifted in the vineyard. I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short. <laughs>